Hello friends, I am Parika Pandey. In the last session, we have learned about the installation of Python tool and how to debug the program, then how to write the print hello world program. In this session, we learn the basic syntax of Python, like logical physical line, print statement, keyboard input function, variables, Python basic fundamentals, comments, and identifier. Let's start with the logical and physical line. Like I am defining the value to variable. Like my variable is the num. Num equals to I have written 25. Okay. And for num 2, like I am taking 26, 36. So this is my logical line. Means I have written the single line in a single place. Okay. But if I am writing the num 1 equals to 25 colon num2 equals to 36 so this would become a physical line in the physical line we can add two or more lines of your code and in the logical line we can write only single line of code so this is mainly the difference between the physical and logical line in the physical line we can combine the two different lines of code by using of semicolon so let's see the next next is the print statement Print statement is used to print the output to the console. In print statement, we can pass the numbers or more string expressions by separated commas. Like here you can take print in the bracket, you can take the expressions or you can take any statement with the expressions. So let's see some example of print statement. Like here I am writing print num1 value. And here I am writing the num1 variable. So you can see it is showing the value of num1 is 25. Now you can write down like this also print add to value. Or we can say the result of result is 2 plus 3. so here this is mainly the expression this is the variable name and if you are writing the simple print statement like uh, this is print program so it is showing this so this is mainly the statement so you can write any way anything in the print statement and get the result now let's see the next basic syntax. Next is the keyboard input function. Python provides the two built-in functions to read a line of text from the standard input, which by default comes from the keyboard. Keyboard input function means what? The input value which, it, which is not defined, you don't know and which is not fixed. So we can take that value from our keyboard. Like I am asking the name of your. So sometimes some person give their name as a John, some one name is the Peter, so they give the Peter, okay. So different person give the different name. So here input is not fixed. So for that mainly we are using the keyboard input function. This function read one line from the standard input and returns as a string. The output of this input function is always the string. This prompt we to enter any string and it would display the same string on the screen. Means we are writing anything. So our uh, ideally will display the same input. Here two functions are used raw underscore input and input function. This input function is mainly used for Python 3 version and raw underscore input function is used for Python 2 version. Let's see the example of keyboard input function in Python ideally. Like here, I am asking the name, name, input, enter your name. So here, like I am writing John. And then I am printing this name, so it is showing the John value. Here I didn't use the print statement. Why? Because this is a shell. So in the shell, immediately if you ask any question, then immediately you get the answer. So no print statement is required. Now the next. 
if I want to enter the number here like num1 so here you have to use the int and put enter the number okay so here like I am writing 25 then you can take num1 plus 20 so it is showing the result as a 45 here input function is always giving the result in a string form by using of this int we are mainly converting this string value into the integer okay means into the number so as per that we get the result as a integer value not a string value so by default input function shows the result as a string now let's see the next basic syntax next is variables variable is a name of the memory location where data is stored once a variable is stored that means a space is allocated in memory so in the simple meaning i'll tell you what is the variable like at our home we are storing the clothes in the cloth cupboard so we can say the cloth cupboard is the variable and the data which we store like clothes we are storing in the cupboard so clothes is a data so same thing happened in the programming language we are storing the different different data in our memory location so by using of the variable we can store the different data in the memory location of our program or you can say in our computer so this variable name is what like i have taken name equals to john so name is my variable and john is my data okay same like our home in the book self we are mainly storing the books so book self is the different kind of data storing variable and clothes when we are storing the clothes in clothes cupboard so clothes cupboard is the different kind of data storing variable if you are storing the food in some places so that place is the different kind of variable so same thing happened in the python so different kind of variables mainly we are used to store the data in a memory location the variables is our case sensitive why we are saying the case sensitive what is the meaning of that like i am taking name equals to john and if i am taking name equals to john so here this name and this name both are different variables okay in python the python most mainly the case sensitive language so here if you are writing anything different like here n is small here n is capital so this is mainly considered as a two different variable so because of that we can say the variable is the case insensitive variables in python are automatically declared declared by the assignment like i have written name equals to john so by using of the name equals to john we can easily understand the name is mainly storing the names of the person only okay so this is mainly storing the alphabets data okay so we can say the as per that we can say this variable is automatically declared in other languages you have to say name is the string variable number is the integer variable but in python if you are storing some values so according to value program understand this is an integer variable or this is a string variable the value assignment of variable can be done using the equal sign like name equals to john we have used so this equal sign is mainly used for the assignment purpose in python there are different types of variable available i'll show you the example of it like here num equals to 25 we are taking then n1 equals to 2.5 i am taking then name equals to peter i am taking so this is a number variable in this this is an integer variable this is a float variable this is a string variable so here as per the assignment of the value the program can understand which variable is used for which purpose the other array variables also available like a list let's take a list like name list so here john peter 
raw okay so these are the name of name list okay so these are the array kind of variable same like a tuple kind of variable is also available set kind of variable is also available and dictionary kind of variable is also available in the dictionary mainly we are storing the key value pair like i'll show you i'll take d1 in the d1 like i'm taking the subject equals to math then name or let's take a result equals to a plus so here mainly key value pair we are storing one is the category and second is the data okay so this kind of data we are storing in the dictionary variable in python we are assign the variable value in two ways one is the single assignment and second is the multiple assignment in the single assignment like here you can see the num equals to 25 n1 equals to 2.5 so this is mainly the single assignment multiple assignment means what like i am taking num1 equals to num2 equals to 25 so here if you are finding the num1 value so it is showing 25 num2 value it is also showing 25 okay this is a multiple assignment with multiple uh, sorry single assignment with with multiple variable okay and let's take the another way num1 num2 equals to 20 30 so here num1 and num2 okay so you look you take like this so multiple assignment with the multiple values now let's see the basic fundamentals of python first fundamental is comment and second fundamental is tokens and their types so first let's see tokens and their types so tokens are what so it can be defined as a punctuator mark okay like a symbol and reserve words and each individual word in a statement okay it is the smallest unit inside the given program okay so in the tokens we consider identifier literals operators and keywords keywords what keywords means what which we are used in python programming like for print print function we are using the print word so print is the keyword input function we are use the input okay we have already seen input function so input is what input is mainly the keyword now the next is the operators operators is what like i am adding the two values so i am using the plus sign so plus is the operator so in python there are different different types of operators available like arithmetic operator logical operator comparison operators we will see this operators part in our next uh, uh, sessions literal means what fixed value okay like i am using some constant values so it is used as a literals okay so we can use the literals in any variable like in the string variable number variable okay list variable any variable you can take the literals and identifier means what the variable name by which we can identify the values like a name equals to john so anyone can understand the name variable is mainly store the only the person's name so name variable is just like a identifier so clear this we will see this parts in detail in our next sessions now the next is the comments comment is what comments are a part of code which are ignored by the python interpreter like i'll tell you what is the comment and where we can use comments mainly ignored by the python program like uh, if we are writing any function and we define this function is used for add purpose so this detail is mainly called as a comment so here i have given some example like explain the assumptions important decisions and details problems which we are trying to solve or trying to overcome in our program so this kind of comments are available we can define the comments by using of hash sign like this is a comment you can see we can't print it 
so this is a single line comment if i am using the multi line comment so i have to write three quotes then this is a multi line comment so in the three quotes we can write the multi line comments so mainly if you want to show this dot py file is used for which purpose so you can write in the multi line comments this part now let's see if you define the variable then what are the rules you have to take the first the variable name or you can say the identifier name must be alphabet only or alpha numeric only or you can take alpha plus underscore or alpha numeric plus underscore sign like you can take name underscore one or you can take name or you can take name one so like this you can give the name you can't take a 1 to 3 equals to python okay like this you can't give the value so this is main rule of defining the variable name and identifier name secondly variable is the case sensitive so if you are using the name or name and name so both are working differently okay it is not a same variable name it is mainly the two different variables in the next session we learn about the python data types and that syntax and how to use it in python thank you